Hey guys, welcome to another DCS Wolf Pack video. And in this, uh, I want to talk about this specific title. I'll call it a MILSIM, okay? A military Simulator. It's Sum of All Fears. And right off, right off the bat, you can see that it looks a lot like Ghost Recon, uh, which it's basically it's based on the Ghost Recon engine. But this is truly the uh, spiritual successor of Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six. Uh, it came out just after Ghost Recon, I believe, and um, as you can see, it, it has some elements of Rainbow Six. See that little map and the white line, uh, where there's uh, it's actually all automated. Automated. It's not like Rainbow Six where you can actually set waypoints. Now, um, th this title is a great launching point for me just talking about tactical shooters. Okay, why I love them. Um, you know, I I got into tactical shooters probably in the mid '90s, and the original. If anybody knows, was the you know Rainbow Six Tom Clancy's. Uh, he had released a previous title before that. I think it was called Politic or something like that. Um, but it was truly the first uh, tactical simulation of a real counterterrorism team or special forces team, uh, special operations team, and it was open world. So what this title does, it, it kind of combines some of the open world elements and then you also get CQB elements. If you remember the original Ghost Recon, there wasn't tons of CQB stuff. Uh, there's some, some certain missions, uh, but this one is very unique in that it um, incorporates both of open world and CQB aspects. Um, so one of the interesting things about this title is that it, it does feature an auto, auto targeting option. Okay, and if you remember the original The original Rainbow Six had the auto targeting. Now, some people might feel that that is unrealistic, where it kind of snaps on your target. Uh, I think it's incredibly realistic. If you think about it in real life, you know, if you're holding a gun, you can sweep 180 degrees in this room and check out every corner in about a half second, or maybe even faster than that. I mean, you can really scan this room. You can you can get your gun. If I wanted to get my gun in that corner to this corner. I mean, I can do that way faster in real life um, because you're pointing the gun. And using, you know, uh, a joypad or mouse and keyboard, it's clunky. It's it's trying to represent real-life movement, and it's clunky at best, okay? So auto-targeting, it's closer to what a real operative on a real mission is capable of doing, and it's still not even... Okay. So the auto snap actually simulates what a real operator could do and his targeting capabilities. Okay. Um, so why do I love tactical shooters? And, and you can look at this title and you're looking at the graphics and you know you might be thinking well, that's you know doesn't look very great. Um, but you know and I, I like I like the high tech graphics. I like stuff that looks good. But gameplay is more important. And there's something about these titles that has not been recreated. Um, you know, Vegas obviously didn't do it. You know, the um, you know popular titles of explosions going off, and, and you get about eight hours of of gameplay with some of these first-person shooters, and you know, they're well done, they look good, but the actual uh, gameplay Hostile neutralized. is not. It's just not something that that does it for me. Okay, this is very. Um, you got to be methodical. You got to really watch your corners. If you get shot in the chest or in the head, you're done. There's no, you know, getting behind a wall and uh, magically getting healed up. It doesn't work that way in this. Okay. So strongly suggest you guys check out this. The other thing about these titles is that you never know where an enemy is going to appear. It's you know, it's random uh, where some some t uh, tango or terrorist is going to appear. So you never know what to expect. Alright. Alright, we're going to go full auto. That's an, This is another thing you can actually change if you look on the lower right-hand corner. Three-round burst, full automatic. Um... This game is unique. It has a um, 
You actually can deploy uh, flashbangs. I don't have any with me right now, but throw a grenade in there. Hostile neutralized. Check the door. Alright, so that guy kind of snuck in. It's just... <laughs> it's just so tactical, man. And it's an old title. You know? Oh, shoot. We got a casualty. Man. You just never know what to expect. I'm hit! So, uh, one of the unique things about this uh, title is that, you know, the enemies won't be in the same spot. They'll actually spawn in different locations, and uh, they'll respond to noise, they'll move around the map and search for you, uh, things like that. So you can't expect the same situation every time. Here I'm, I'm unlocking a door, and one of the uni unique things about this title is that you, ha you can actually uh, deploy flashbangs, which you couldn't do in the original. for the West Virginia stereotypes, if anybody gets offended here. So this is <laughs> supposedly some sort of militia group that decided they want to take some hostages and we're getting them out. Nothing against West Virginians, I love West Virginia. You know, and the game's really tense. I mean, you know that if you take a shot to your head, you're done. Um, you know, you do have body armor, so depending on where you get shot, that will affect your um, ability to aim. Alright, so we disarmed the security system. We can continue on here. So it's very tense. Holy oh, crap. It's not shocking from somewhere. I don't know where that shot came from. Alright. Clear this room. So you do have to unlock doors. It's just another thing to add immersion. Somebody's shooting somewhere. two modes of uh, of walking. You can either do like a fast run or you can do a shuffle which I'm doing here. Tango down. There we go. Clear this corner. Down the stairwell here. on 
the sun. Enemy eliminated. Another one down. Alright, this room's clear. On. So, you know, you just want to be aware of which way the door opens as well. Before I do that, let me reload. You want to make sure you have a fresh mag in there. No, you can't reload under fire. I mean, you can, but it's not going to be, probably not going to be a good day. One shot, one kill. And it's not fun. It's not fun when you lose one of your guys or when you get shot after all that hard work. So this is why you know these titles are unique, the originals. Um, Best way to do that, but all right. Do a quick reload here. Have full, uh, full magazine. And you can hear the ambient sounds like the crickets and just, you know, birds and things like that. Um, there's not any like dramatic music or anything. Just you're really focusing on the mission at hand. I've been oh. shot. Got him. All right, I'm locking the door here. There should be a junction box on the wall. Cut the cables there. All right. So the reason we're cutting the satellite feed is because these guys want to make a transmission this is a newsroom uh, they just want to make a terroristic uh, transmission about their intentions and we're just gonna stop that from happening and then priority is to get the uh, the hostages out and we are using silenced weapons uh, Nailed him. just to keep the element of surprise Full auto here. Yeah, there's no running and gunning in this. You gotta be really careful, methodical. Clear. Alright, we're good. And, you know, just because the guy's down doesn't mean somebody else is not going to pop up. You know, there's no regeneration of health or anything like that. Um, and it, it's a difference between an arcade title, like I consider, I'll just say Call of Duty, for instance. You know, the storylines are cool, um, but it is, it, it's an arcade title. Enemy neutralized. <laughs> and there are hostages right there. Get down there. Or oh, it's a good ending spot, actually. So, in summary, um, you know, maybe I'll do some more videos like this with, uh, you know, either some of all fears or Ghost Recon or the original Rainbow Six um, Brothers in Arms. They're all tactical shooters and they're all really, really good. Um, if you you know, if you want to get into this stuff, uh, you know, I recommend you just start at either the original Rainbow Six or the original Ghost Recon. Um, I wish they would have worked further with this title because I really like what they did with the, the you know, the open world Ghost Recon with the, um, you know, close close quarters battle. 
uh, aspects of it as well. And if you can just imagine this title in a modern uh, engine with graphics and shadows and maybe some great voice acting, you know, if you imagine a like Call of Duty kind of acting cast and and graphics or um, some, you know even Battlefield um, Arma 3 has has some decent graphics now. Uh, combined with this type of gameplay, that's the kind of title we're looking for. And there are some titles like that. Uh, there's Takedown, that is uh, Kickstarter, that, that was just funded. Um, then there's the um, one of the titles I'm, I'm looking at is Ground Branch, uh, which is more uh, Ground Branch. Uh, the developers likened it to Ghost Recon. Takedown, they dev uh, they uh, likened it to uh, Rainbow Six. So finally here, just some screenshots of the upcoming uh, titles, uh, including Ground Branch, uh, H-Hour, um, Takedown. Um, these are some of the titles that are coming up. Hopefully, they, you know, they'll, they'll do well. And uh, you know, I just, my pitch to you guys is just stay true to the um, you know, Ghost Recon and, and uh, Rainbow Six roots. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be the same title. Um, but you know the central aspects of tactical gameplay remain the same. It's it's an emphasis on teamwork, uh, emphasis on real life weapons and how they how they perform. Um, the what we're looking for is military simulators uh, that can be used. Obviously, not violating any any uh, opsec, um, but military simulators that could be used by real police forces, uh, counterterrorism teams. Um, you know, SWAT teams or the military to train on, uh, like a desktop trainer. Um, you know, it's not going to give you <laughs> real life capability or anything like that. But at the, at, at the minimum, to just give you a feel for, you know, uh, you know, arresting a suspect or flashbanging a room. You know, how do you stack up uh, in a, in a room? What kind of t entry tactics do you use? What kind of doors is this? What kind of explosives do I want to use? You know, that type of stuff. We want we want to emulate. Uh, and this is something that we do at DCS Wolfpack, emulate real-life scenarios uh, with real-life uh, tactics. You know, uh, we, we never want to, um, you know, disclose anything that, that would violate um, or put Americans in danger as far as operational security um, or give away any trade secrets. Uh, but we, what we do like to do is just emulate and ultimately honor the guys that do go downrange, whether you're a police officer, a sheriff's department, a SWAT team, uh, special you know, operations guy, whether you're special forces, do you dev group, Delta, uh, whatever it is, we want to emulate uh, what those groups do. And it's an honor for us as Americans to sit in our computer desk and be able to, you know, uh, step in the shoes of, of an operator. Um, and our desktop PC and just have fun you know ultimately it's it's for entertainment but um you know it, it is serious fun uh, serious entertainment uh, and, and we have a great time so anyway if you're interested in the uh, tactical type operations um, you know you may have heard we have dev uh, at DCS Wolfpack which we use the Arma 2 engine uh, currently uh, with uh, some seal units so if you're interested you know throw an application out and uh, this is the kind of stuff that we're, we're looking at doing. All right, burn her out. See you guys next time.